The best walleye anglers in North America are here in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. It is stop number two on our national walleye tour. On our last stop in Sault Ste. Marie, Ranger Pro David Cole led it wire to wire, crushing the competition by nearly 15 pounds, picking up his second win on the tour. Oh, last year was special. That, that's really tough to repeat something like that. Now in 2020, David is fresh off another top 10 and ready to defend his title. Had a good event at Green Bay, finished eighth there. Uh, coming, to, coming to the Sioux, I know a lot uh, about the area really compared to other anglers, so I'm excited about that. We've got 82 of the best professional walleye anglers in the country, fishing for a purse worth more than $233,000. Welcome to stop number two of the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stay to the right. Swing wide for me, please. Day one, NWT, Sault Ste. Marie, here we go. What's the big thing challenge for you guys today? Uh, getting down there, managing our time. Uh, it's a long, long run. We got a long drive ahead of us, and uh, hopefully we can pick off five. Getting five here hasn't been always the easiest thing every day, but we're gonna try our best. Uh, the word on the street is the fishing's been a little bit tough this week. Guys are struggling a little bit. There's a lot of bait in the system. There's mayfly hatches still going on up here. I feel like I'm back home in June, not uh, August. Conditions have been tough. The Great Lakes are at record high levels, and anglers are making long runs in search of fish. Berkeley pro Corey Sprengel, just off a win in Green Bay, knows that weather could be a major factor. Day one here, we're going to have calm conditions. We're going to be able to run. I'm going to be making about a 50-mile run. Um, but the next day, we're going to have a little bit of breeze. It's going to be about a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind here on day two, which is going to change things up for a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of those big runs that were going to be made on day two are going to have to be questioned. Uh, um, but I'm going to play it a little bit safe here and not go too far. And uh, the weather should play a, a key role in that. Checking the numbers, we've got $233,202 up for grabs this week, including a mercury-powered Ranger 2080 MS and some cash for the champion. For all the details, head on over to nationalwalleytour.com. Getting right into tournament coverage, this is your 2019 Sault Ste. Marie champion and Ranger Pro David Kolb with co-angler Jesse Hansen. All right, we got down here in great time. Uh, it was perfect conditions. The, it was really flat. It's cloudy too, which I like that because uh, the fish will probably still be active for a little bit longer. So uh, long ride. We had, I don't know, 80 some mile run. So it was, uh, it, was go it went great. Uh, the 400 and the 622, I was getting 63 and a half for a little bit there. So. Um, everything went great, so so far so good. So now let's uh, put a few in the box here so we can really make it a great day. Start to feed at 1.7, I'm gonna get us crack in here. Pulling cranks over structure, David makes a couple of adjustments to dial in his presentation. Then, it's watch and wait. That's it, I'm gonna fish hard, keep the lines clean. But the good thing is, uh, a lot of my fish have been active in the uh, mid midday morning mid-afternoon, early morning, so if I can get five five bites there, I think I can get 20 pounds plus. So that, that will fare pretty well. It doesn't take long before they get their first bite. All right, there's one. Not bad, one fish to start, got one. Minutes later, David Knapp's fish number two. That's a nice one. Yes. All right, we got another little bit better one there. That's more of the quality we're looking for. That'll keep us in the game for sure. Um, looking for 24, 25 inches. That's a 24 incher, probably four and a half pounds or so. So five at four and a half with 22 or so. So that'd be good. I'd be happy with that. That'd be a good day. Moving on, this is Isle, Minnesota's Kevin McQuoid and co-angler Neil Wilkinson. Nice job. Lively Sault Ste. Marie walleyes. Nice job. All right, nice job. Today we're uh, just pulling, pulling uh, spinners with inline weights and, and uh, on planer boards, just trying to get the boards away from the boat 
spread them out. It makes it real easy to fish four lines out here and not worry about getting tangled, tangled up. Um, just some different humps that come out down here that you know they top off at anywhere from 10 to 20 feet depending on which hump we're on and and uh, we'll just keep humping, hopping around and it's been more of an afternoon bite for us. We'll get a couple scattered ones here this morning but the uh, you know, from 10 until 2 has probably been our, our better time. So the whole thing is not to get frazzled and relax and fish smart. That's the thing right there, confident and smart. Under calm, clear conditions, it's been a tough bite. On the Great Lakes, a little wind is always welcome. Coming up, we'll head back to Sault Ste. Marie. Day one weigh-in is next, right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast. There's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Out here, you need a ride you can depend on and strength you can rely on. You need a boat that tackles the elements and handles the tackle. You need the quality and peace of mind only one brand delivers, the all new Ranger FS Pro. It's raising the bar with more brains, more brawn, and more bragging rights. The Ranger FS Pro Series, technology that makes waves, strength that crushes them. This segment of the National Walleye Tour is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan on the St. Mary's River, home of the Sioux Locks an engineering marvel built in 1855 to move ships between Lake Superior and the lower Great Lakes. 90% of the iron ore mined in the U.S. moves through here, and it's not uncommon to see thousand-foot freighters passing through. Just one of the many attractions you'll find when you visit the Sioux. We're one of those places people like to come that is strictly outdoors. You know, you can be outdoors, you can be indoors, you can do almost anything you want to do here. As you can see, we're right by the river, I said the river's the reason we're here. I said there's kayaking, there's fishing, there's, you know, you can do almost anything. Paddle boring, you've got, uh, you can bring your sailboats. We have great places for you to stay here. Uh, we have uh, Whitefish Point and Lighthouses and Iroquois Point. And then you come in downtown and you have Portage Avenue and right across from on Portage we have uh, the Sioux Locks. So it's like you, a little bit of everything is right here. I call it heaven. If someone wants to know more about our community, just go to our website. It's www.SueStMarie.com. With day one competition in the books, we'll head to Osborne Boat Launch for weigh-in. As expected, it was a tough day for much of the field. Out of 82 boats, only 27 managed to weigh a five fish limit. Heading to the scales, Kevin McCoy came How in a bit short. How many fish got in there, Kevin? Uh, just three today. Three back fish. in 2019, Kevin weighed back-to-back -back limits to finish in fifth place overall. Today, he finished in 38th with 10.04. David Kolb, along with Jesse Hansen from Defending Eldridge, champ Isle. David Kolb knew it was going to be David tough, but he'd hoped for better. Weighing 11.08, he wrapped up day one in 35th. Just a slow bite today for us, and uh, really could use those other couple, but that's the way it goes. The big story on day one was 16-year-old Billy Atkinson fishing his first event as a pro. Billy put it all together and brought five to the scales for 1492 and 24th place. I wasn't nervous about anything besides finding a limit. I started off the morning going for a limit, which I ended up pulling, and then I went for bigger fish, and we ended up pulling one or two bigger fish, so it's always good, and we ended up with a limit, so I'm happy. Moving on to the top of the leaderboard, it was Illinois' Jim Schiefelmine making a two-hour run each way, coming home with a limit worth 23.47 and the lead. Here's a look at the top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. 
For the complete standings on both the pro and co-angler side, head on over to nationalwalleytour.com. It's the final day from the St. Mary's River here in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, and what an event we have. Jim Schiepelbein is leading the tournament with 23.47 pounds of walleye in his second National Walleye Tour event ever. Uh, it, it's obviously very humbling amongst this group to, to be in the, the leader spot. It's, it's exciting, but uh, I'm incredibly humbled. There's so many great fishermen here, you know, fishing Hall of Fame guys and just legends and, and young shooters. A lot of guys that, you know, are great fishermen. So to be able to have a bag like I did yesterday and, and put it all together, it's it's really, really exciting to be in this position today. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll launch day two from Sault Ste. Marie and the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. As a professional angler, you've got so many things on your mind. Any advantage that we have is key. And not only rods and reels and lines and baits, but in our clothes. And the guys at AFCO, I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition. AFCO has you covered. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you in part by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. AFCO, any fish, any water. Abu Garcia, for life. And by Powerpole, total boat control. Welcome back to stop number two of the 2020 season on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. We've got $233,000 on the line and a tight race between the top five. Jim Schiefelbein has the lead, and that's where we'll begin second day coverage. It looks like the, I looked at the current maps. I think the currents are relatively similar. I'm hoping I can make the same pass that I did yesterday because I made a pretty small pass and a pretty specific piece of structure where there was a current break. So I'm hoping the current and the winds cooperate with me today. Uh, the current really has those fish uh, held up in a, in a pretty small area. So the goal will be to just flutter our spinners into this uh, current eddy out in the lake and, and see if we can get them to bite. Oh, so we're using basically crawler harnesses with half ounce weights, uh, willow blades and Colorado blades, uh, different bead variations, different sizes. We're going to see what the fish are going to want to eat this morning, but this is what we're going to start with. It's the current is way different. We're going to have to speed up. Fishing alongside co-angler Michael Hall, they get their lines out and wait. Uh, the morning's starting a little bit slow. Uh, we had one pullback this morning, but the current has cha changed very dramatically from where it was yesterday when I left. And we're just trying to kind of move around the piece of structure and see if we can locate these fish. Um, I think I'm gonna go up and take that troll that I was taking yesterday. Uh, the wind picked up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little heavier weights on and see if I can make the troll at the same depth and try to go cross current. Um, I've moved inside, uh, moved in the middle to see if I could relocate the fish, but it's a little slow right now. Moving on, our cameras head south and check in with Peter Schaefer and Timothy Berg. They're pulling cranks over deep structure. Um, right over here to the south of us is a shelf. Um, comes up to about 25 foot of water. We're on the off, off edge of it in about 45 to 38 foot of water. Um, and it's just full of rocks down there. So we're snap, snap waiting crankbaits down to the bottom. Um, you know, pulling these fish up out of the rocks. Nice. Day two out on Lake Huron. It's our first fish of the day. Not a bad one, but we need them a little bit bigger.
This is Nitro Pro Ben Teets. Starting the morning in third, Ben and co-angler Eric McCoyd are one of the few boats we've seen casting. They're throwing shiver minnows, letting them fall, bouncing them along the bottom. Get him. Nice. Beautiful Sue walleye right there. Throwing a shiver minnow. Number three shiver minnows. Bumping the bottom hook up a little bit. Put replace bottom hook with a uh, must add triple grip and get a little better hook up ratio with them. And uh, I've just been casting them around in here and getting some good fish on them. Back on the leader. After catching one early, it's been a long, slow morning, but co-angler Michael Hall makes the scoop and fish number two is on board. With the second flag down, Jim grabs the rod and Mike scoops nice. up fish number three. Just like that. Just it like changes. that. <laughs> High five. Yeah! <laughs> That was some good TV, huh? That was exciting. Back on Peter Schaefer. It's been a struggle this morning, but he's stuck with his program. And finally, straight picks up. up fish number two. Good job. It's another lake here on Walleye. A little bit smaller than the last one, I think. Oh, we probably got 11 pounds in the box, maybe. Um, Maybe nine. A uh, little disappointed that we came all the way down here for that, but you know, that's part of the game. Um, there are big fish in this system down here, so it's just a, just a gamble with the run. Um, unfortunately, it didn't pay off today. So hopefully we'll get back up there in the Sioux and uh, put something else together. Recognizing the need to adjust, Peter puts it on pad and heads for new water. There's better than $230,000 up for grabs this week, including an $80,000 prize package for the champion. The final weigh-in is just ahead. Stay close. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. That means you catch more fish. Ultra 8 features eight braided strength, heated to molecularly bind individual fibers. It lays well on the spool and is prior to going through your guide. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. New Fireline Ultra 8, and you thought Fireline couldn't get any better. Succeeding at the highest levels of fishing requires intense driving. Doing so with a boat that merely suffices isn't good enough. To lead the pack, you need a top performing boat that gives you a clear view of the goal. A powerful boat that accelerates you to the top of the leaderboard. Triton is always looking one step ahead. That's why it's the driving force of performance fishing. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you in part by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor by Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence. And by Lucas Oil and Marine Products. Welcome back. We're down to the final hours of competition and we'll check back with Missouri's Peter Schaefer. After a slow start on his deep spot, he made a gamble and headed to different water. Uh, we started out this morning with an 84 mile boat ride uh, down to Rogers City area. Um, nice. We got on the fish before getting gas. Um, we lost two right off the bat and then we uh, struggled for probably about a half hour until we had our next bite. Um, from there we actually turned around on them and caught a second. Um, from there it was an hour until we got our next fish. So that's number three. Uh, at that point, I was kind of thinking about scrambling, uh, but we kind of made an adjustment and slid into a piece of shoreline um, and picked up two nice fish that were pretty key for us today. Um, you know, at that point, I had three hours to make it back and the wind had kicked up, so we decided to go to Rogers City, fuel up, and make the trek back. With the wind picking up, Peter is facing a near three hour run back north. We'll catch up with him and weigh in. For a last stop, we'll check in with the day one leader, Jim Schiefelbein. 
buddy, what do you think you got in the well and what do you need? I think nothing short of a miracle is what I need at this point. So I don't know how hard the bite was, but I'm sure those guys got their fish. They always do. Um, our fish, unfortunately, just didn't fire today. The current changed. And we're scrambling here late day, just trying to fulfill limit. We got three. Um, they're sure not what I anticipated, but uh, we're going to try to grind it out here and try to get a couple more and hopefully come in with a limit. Right now, my my goal is a limit and. Uh, See how the cards fall. Back in Sault Ste. Marie after a tough day one, it got even tougher. Out of a field of 82, there were only 11 limits brought in, we'll and only 10 anglers weighed fish. limits on both days. We got three fish coming up on the scale here today. Jim Schiefelbein made a run at it, but came up a little short. Slipping down the leaderboard, he finished the week in seventh with 35.02. Returning champion David Cole did what he could, but it wasn't enough, and he finished the week in 27th with 1979. And 16-year-old Billy Atkinson turned some heads this week. Fishing his first event as a pro, he cashed a check, finishing the week in 18th with 2504. Right Tommy Chemos was your 2014 Lucas Oil Angler of the Year. He also finished seventh in Green Bay last month. Starting this morning in fourth, he added five for 2142, giving him a two day total of 4272 and the lead. I ran uh, 220 miles round trip each day. Um, today, I knew the wind was coming up. We literally fished for two hours today. So um, to go down there and in two hours come up with that weight, I'm, I'm pretty happy. And then to make it back um, in one piece, I mean, it was, it was nasty coming back. Linwood, Michigan, Steve Vandemark started the day in 11th, but with back-to-back -back limits, he made a big move all the way to second place with just one angler left away. This is a tough fishery. You guys seen how many people zeroed, had a couple. You really got to put it together. We actually did three presentations each day. We jigged, we trolled, and then we bottom bounced. So. You know, when I say we trolled, we trolled high in the water count over top of weeds. So, and we caught fish each day doing all three. So, you can't just have one thing in your arsenal because it probably won't work here. And now we're down to the final angler. Five fish coming to the scale, and they look like doozy settling. See if he can take out Tommy Chemos, who's leading with 42.72. These five fish weigh 22, 25. Two day total, 4503. Yeah. Peter Shaver, you are leading the National Walleye Tour. It means a lot. Uh, I've been fishing competitively for about 13 years. You know, we got a, a win on the Michigan Walleye Tour and, uh, you know, some smaller club events. Um, but to compete on this level and bring it home, it's unbelievable. We're really excited. I look forward to uh, future events. Locking up his first win on the Pro Tour, Peter picks up a 2020 Ranger 2080 MS powered by a 250 horsepower Mercury outboard and $15,000 in cash. On the co-angler side, Tyler Nickel gets his first win on the Tour. I've been doing this since 2014. I'm always learning something. Um, but when you get to fish with guys, you know, like Joel Cotta and Gary Parsons, um, I can't even you know, think of all the names that I've gotten to fish with um, and just meeting even the, the team or the group of guys that I travel with. Um, it, it's awesome. It's a fun group of guys. It's a good atmosphere and I love doing it. Checking the standings in the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year race. After back-to-back -back top tens, Tommy Chemos is gunning for his second title, but he's got some of the hottest names on the tour close behind. To stay in touch, keep up with us on social media or look us up at nationalwalleytour.com. The National Walleye Tour is a joint presentation between Outdoor Teamworks and Carico TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm pro angler Mark Rose. And I'm pro angler Andy Montgomery. You want your truck engine to last longer than a 3,000 yard bulk spool of line? Lucas Oil, motor oil, long lasting. Extra long lasting. <laughs> Should I say running smoother or running better? Running smoother might sound better. Smoother than a three legged thunder cricket coming through a treetop? Silence! Say something about injector cleaner and hold up the bottle. Are we rolling? Dude. Come on! Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world. You've been
been waiting all week for this. And Sunline wants to make sure you're ready for it with bulk spools of all your favorite fishing lines. Oh, so fun. Bulk up with Sunline. Nobody wants to run out of power when they're on the water. There is a better way. Introducing the Charge Marine Power Management Station from PowerPole that does the work of three devices, a traditional battery charger, a charge on the run, and an emergency start system. PowerPole Charge. 